Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with an on-the-fly review t for you, and it's uh, about 6.30 in the morning, and it's been kind of a, uh, well, it's been a very rough night for me, personally, and my family. Uh, um, since I don't see myself sleeping any, I have no idea what tomorrow holds, so I might as well just shoot a video for uh, uh, a review of the most recent piece of shit I've seen. And that would be The Woman King. Uh, what a sack of garbage. Who says Viola Davis, Lashana Lynch, and uh, John Boyega. Uh, takes place during the 1820s. King with a bunch of warrior women, bodyguards, fighting off the French. What you need to know about this movie is this movie heroicizes slave raiders. Slave raiders. The people who went village to village, hunted, rounded up, captured entire families, sold them as commodities, as product, and prospered off of this. These are the heroes of this film. This film not only makes excuses for them, but acts as if the African slave trade, which exists to this day, was solely Distinguished by these brave, brave feminine warriors. Look, I'm not going to go into all kind of detail. So I won't get demonetized. And considering all the hate I got for my review of In the Heights, I won't imagine the kind of shit I'll get from the historically ignorant people who would support this monumentous, harmful, heroneous, and wicked sack of shit that is merely just a movie, but still is so horrible. Look, man, this movie is propaganda, pure propaganda. If this movie is no different than something like Birth of a Nation or Triumph of the Will, which is literally made by Nazis. This movie is trash. Pure garbage. Uh, if you know anything about the history of this evil, the evil that was slavery, or that is slavery, because it's still practiced, it's not gone, you know, it, it's still a thing in many, many countries in this country, in this, in this world, I'm sorry. It's just, this movie will piss you off, and it did piss me off, and I don't even want to fucking talk about it, frankly. This movie's, I, I was going to give this movie two stars, for its score, its costumes, its art direction, its photography. Because it looks and feels like a big Hollywood movie. But what ultimately is the difference between this movie and a movie like The Last Samurai? Which is, you have an army of samurai warriors. But now they finally have a fighting chance because they got one white guy on their team. It is... Just as historically ignorant, just as um, agenda-driven, just as propagandic, but just in different, j j j just with different motivations. I mean, you can go through the entire history of movies and and pick apart and rip apart the uh, um, inconsistencies or historical inaccuracies. But this movie, movies like this movie, 
intentionally, blissfully ignore the facts of the true evil of what was happening just because there's something fitting that fits the agenda, the, the, the theme, the narrative of the time. And to me, movies like this are disgusting. And yeah, sure, I, I may not hold as much criticism, as much, uh, no, hold it closer, as close to the fire as I would something with like superheroes and stuff like that. And the main reason is because this movie, no matter what, this movie is going to be nominated for an Oscar, at least one Oscar. I guarantee you, it would be costumes, art direction, the score. It doesn't matter. This movie is going to get an Oscar nomination somewhere of something in some category just because of what it is. Not because it's good, not because it's successful, not because anybody cared about it, just because what it is. And that's why I think movies like that should be held to a higher scrutiny. Movies that are expect, demand, praise, love, admiration, and awards just because of the stories they tell instead of the movies they make should be ripped apart when they don't step up or hold to that standard. And that's just how I feel. This movie is trash. This movie is garbage. I was going to give it two stars just because of the pure production caliber, high quality production caliber of it. But when everything that is supposed to support that production just shits the bed, then you got a turkey. Fuck that. You just got a shitty bed. I'm Jake Davis, and I catch you on the fly. I got more, far more troubling things to worry about.